I'm going to try to show you um, how to do this in kind of a quicker way than you might be uh, currently coming up with. So uh, first thing that we do is uh, the substitution, so that's the limit as h approaches 0 of, so that's going to be x plus h plus 6 to the 4th minus x plus 6 to the 4th all over h. And what I'm going to do now is uh, reorder a little bit, kind of some prep work before I do anything. So what I'm going to do is uh, rearrange here, make this x plus 6 plus h to the 4th minus x plus 6 to the 4th all over h. And then in what I'm going to do in the next step is I'm actually going to expand, but I'm going to... Uh, treat this as the first term in my expansion um, of this right here. So when I expand this, I'm in, it's, you know, uh, something plus h to the fourth. And so let's see how that goes. So limit as h approaches zero of, so uh, it's one, four, six, four, one. So x plus six to the fourth plus four x plus 6 cubed times h plus 6 x plus 6 squared h squared plus 4 x plus 6 um, to the first h cubed uh -oh, uh, plus h to the fourth um, and then there's like a, uh, at the end here, there's a minus x plus 6 to the fourth from the original. And that's all over h. So my handwriting is a little too big to actually fit this. Um, now if you notice, when I simplify this, um, just in the numerator, I have x plus 6 to the fourth, and I have a minus x plus 6 to the fourth. So that's actually cancel out which I'm going to do uh, right now, there, and there. Those cancel out. At this point, if um, everything that doesn't have an H in it doesn't cancel out, you've done something wrong, so back to the drawing board. And now what I'm going to do is simplify, uh, reduce out the H that's common to everything. So really my next thing here is the limit as H approaches 0 of uh, for the quantity X plus 6 cubed plus 6, the quantity x plus 6 squared h, because I'm reducing out an h, plus uh, 4 x plus 6 um, h squared, and then plus h cubed. And now if I take the limit as h approaches 0, um, I have a couple of terms that are going to zero out because uh, this is something in terms of x times h, but h is approaching 0, so this will zero out. Uh, here we have another h times something, but since h is approaching 0, this zeroes out, and this zeroes out. So overall, this limit is just equal to 4 times the quantity x plus 6 cubed. Um, and believe it or not, this did save us time. Uh, and it's just kind of a, a clever reordering that uh, is kind of helpful. So, uh, you know, I hope you use it and are successful. So good luck.